Geico Electronics is a specialty manufacturer located just outside of Ottawa, Canada. The company relies on Player's visual inspection system to help ensure end-to-end -end product quality, manage costs, and improve human processes. We're an electronic manufacturing services company, which um, means we have all of the um, equipment and tools for building electronics, all types of electronics, and uh, we work with a variety of customers. So basically we, we quote on products and we build products. And right now we make about 500 different products for roughly 30 different customers. As part of the company's approach to end-to-end -end quality, Dyka employs Playora's AI-based visual inspection system to help add decision support for human inspectors. While electronics manufacturers increasingly rely on automated assembly and inspection processes, there is still a significant role for human inspection throughout incoming, in-process, and final quality control steps. We do have automated inspection um, that probably captures probably 90%, maybe more, um, of all the parts that we um, put on boards, but uh, a portion of them we can't put through automated inspection, so we have to use um, humans um, to capture the rest of that. And uh, again, even the 90% that's being inspected by automated processes um, still has to be um, looked at and interpreted if it actually is a defect by humans. So um, humans will probably always inspect a portion of our quality. Humans do a very good job at inspection. We're adaptable and easy to train. However, when we get tired, bored, and distracted, Playora's visual inspection system ensures human decision-making remains consistent, reliable, and repeatable. We have some boards where you know there may be 10,000 of them. They're, they're you know looking at them all day long. Human inspection is never going to catch 100%. So a tool like that, you know, when they can put up a comparator um, and, and maybe it just highlights something they they weren't actually going to see, you know, missing label, missing part, reverse part, something like that. Playora system uses AI-based inspection apps to visually highlight product differences on a display to help human operators make consistent, qualitative decisions. 80% of the defects get caught by a human, you know, up to 20% get missed. Maybe fatigue, repetitiveness, um, they're, they're looking at a product, you know, maybe only once a year, they don't know it that well. So if we can put um, a system like the Comparator um, in place that assists them um, and moving that needle up to 90% or 100%, then it's a benefit for, for DICA. Playora's easy to train and deploy system adds AI decision support to tasks where traditional inspection or new AI approaches are too costly or complex. Integrated inspection apps are trained using just one image. The system uses this golden reference image to highlight potential defects and deviations. As the operator accepts or rejects these potential product issues, the AI model is transparently and consistently trained based on user actions to improve and speed decision-making support. With Playora's system, Quality managers can easily train and deploy AI inspection apps to catch critical errors with no programming skills or expensive external consulting required. It's a simple system to use. We just turn it on and it, it, as a separate system, um, use it to enhance our existing inspection process. DICA has trained Playora's system to add decision support for final inspection of about 20 unique products and 30 to 40 assemblies. The company is investigating ways to use inspection apps for incoming product evaluation and employee training. Uh, a lot of our custom um, products that we're bringing in, um, we could be taking pictures of that as they come in the door, and, and the inspector at the front um, could see that there you know, is, is a difference, or if we want to capture images um, to say this is what it was like when, when, we came in, when it came in the door, um, you know, then we could use those images um, as, a, as a tool to you know, determine, you know, if a defect was found, you know, where it occurred. Did it come in the building? We just didn't capture it uh, at an inspection or did it occur somewhere within our facility? Then we can, you know, work on ways of, you know, making sure that doesn't occur again, right? If we're, we're training new inspectors or um, inspectors on new products, you know, we could, we could use that tool as a, as a training tool as well and, and create defects and just say, hey, here's a different, um, you know, um, a, a different um, issue than what our golden board was supposed to look like. And, uh, you know, you see a missing label or a missing component or a reverse component, right? So we could definitely use that as a tool to, to help in, in, in assist in our training of new inspectors for sure. 
In addition, Player's Visual Inspection System integrates automated and customizable tracking and reporting apps that provide manufacturers with valuable data to help improve processes. Typically, visual inspection steps pose a data black hole for manufacturers as they evaluate end-to-end -end processes. Our whole quality process is um, based on all the data that we do collect. Um, so we have a, a, a quality guy here that you know, collects all the data from all the different um, uh, inspection process points, whether it's human or automated inspection. Uh, and, and then we find out where you know we're having problems. Then we work on trying to solve those problems. So without that data, you know we wouldn't know where you know all of our defects were were, were originating, and and you know then in turn um, be able to correct them. One of the most valuable tracking and reporting apps for Dica has been the ability to capture and save images. The operator captures an image of every visually inspected product and its barcode before it goes out the door. Images are automatically saved to Dyke's manufacturing planning software. Well, one of the things that we have been most excited about with this is the ease that we can collect archived images of the product and do investigations when there is potentially a field return or an RMA request from a customer. And it's not about who's right or who's wrong. It's about helping with the investigation of what went wrong and when it happened. So by Using this product and collecting those images, um, it, it's allowing us to, to go back and help with that investigation. So for instance, we just had a product last week. Uh, we built it, we shipped it to a customer. They sent it out to another shop to have some other steps done to it. And there was some damage on the product. And all they had to do was give us the serial number. We were able to pull the image we, we captured and we could help them in that investigation. We were able to determine exactly how it looked when it left our building, and that let them then go to the next supplier down the, the process. So it was it's really helpful in those types of investigations. Tracking and traceability helps DICA save time and money while protecting its reputation with customers. If we didn't have a reference image, it really makes, it can stall the whole process of figuring out where something happened. And then you, then you don't, you know, it just, it's an easier conversation with our customers if we have the image to show and share and talk about this is what it, what it looked like. Prior to that, in many cases, it's a bit more costly for us because we may have had to do a repair or a rework or a credit for a product, not really knowing where the problem occurred. And this really allows us to kind of pinpoint whether it occurred in our facility or whether it occurred downstream from us. Playera's inspection system is an important tool that helps DICA reduce human errors that could cost the business time, money, and its reputation. Visual inspection is always going to be part of what we do in analyzing the, the details. Adding in um, image comparison helps with you know, operator fatigue, for instance, where you're looking at the same board over and over again um, but maybe you're not detecting a labels on upside down because it's in the right spot, but it's upside down. So the other thing with using, adding in tools like this to visual inspection is it can help with the overall quality and take some of the, the human fatigue factor out of the inspection process. Learn more at playr.com.